Daphne here from Steam Design Lab with a Marble Machine Project Tip video. We're starting with the cereal box. The first step is to mark and cut the ramps. First, I'll open all the seams and flatten the box. Then I'm making marks along the long edge, measuring first one inch and then one and a half inches continuing this pattern all the way across the edge. I'll repeat the same pattern on the other side, making sure my marks on both sides line up. to connect my first set of marks with a solid line and the next set with a dashed line, again continuing all the way across. I will be cutting along the solid lines and folding along the dashed lines. For now, I'll just cut out three ramps. Step 2, I'll score and fold the ramps. Place a ruler or straight edge along the dashed lines, then carefully run the sharp edge of your scissors along the edge. You don't need to press hard, only apply enough pressure to score a mark so you can easily fold along that line. For step 3, I'll be adding end stops. The wider inch and a half side of the ramp should face the board when you install it. Decide which end will be the high end and make your cuts and folds on that side. To make it easy, I'm using the existing fold that used to be the top corner of the box. I'll make a short cut through my center fold and then trim off most of the flap on the narrow side. By folding this out, it will provide a little tab to keep my ramp from sliding off the hanging clip. The larger flap folds in. This will keep my marbles from rolling off the high end. Add a little piece of tape, then trim the extra cardboard. For step 4, I'll bend the paper clips to make hanging clips. These are jumbo clips and are just under 2 inches in length. Holding the clip like this, bend the outer end of wire in to make a 90 degree right angle. Then grasp the U-shaped center portion and bend it away, this time making a smaller 45 degree angle. Step 5 is hanging the ramps. I'm using a small piece of masking tape to attach each clip like this. To help decide where to place each clip, I hold the ramp in position first, then attach the clip. Notice how my first ramp is open on both ends, and my second ramp has a stop on the high end. The final step, test as you go, is really an integral part of the whole process. You want to make sure your marble can move between ramps without falling before adding each new ramp. It's a lot easier to adjust your design one ramp at a time than to redo your whole layout at the end. In the next two videos, I'll show you how to make spinning elements for your marble machine, like pulleys, string spinners, and star gears. For more information on this project and others, check out our website at steamdesignlab.com.